Welcome to Scratch Jr. Beat the Clock. This is a challenging program game that gets harder with each new challenge. In this game, you have to select the correct backgrounds, sprites, and scripts for the program you're about to see. You will have three minutes to complete your challenge. If you get done early, open a new page and get creative there. Please click on the home button and open a new project. You may begin now. This is about the halfway mark. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You still have about a minute and a half to go. Uh, so check over your project a little bit. Do you have the right background? Did you have to make any changes to it or change colors or draw your own background? How about your sprites or characters? Did you have to edit those, change colors, make a new character? Did you have to add sounds or new pages? And finally, your scripts. Are your programming blocks making your characters or sprites do what you see on the screen? Check those out. Make some changes if they're not. Best of luck. Doing a great job. Okay, time is up for challenge 10, down on the farm. Hope you had a great time working on this program. Uh, you had to get a little faster at picking your sprites this time. We had several on screen. So let's look at how this program was made. The first thing we had to do was select our farm after we get rid of our scratch the cat character. And so select your farm. Now it's just about getting those sprites on the screen pretty quick. So we're gonna pick the piggy. We're gonna get that horse and put those kind of in the positions that they were in. Remember, we also need the, uh, the barn, we need the girl, and we need the apple. So let's put the girl on the screen. We're gonna place her over there. Now I didn't change any of the, um, the paint or the color of any of the items. Uh, we do change their sizes a little bit. And then this last one's gonna be the barn. Now the barn's gonna be behind the characters. So you can even maybe even put that on first. That way you don't have to click your character. That makes it come out in front of the barn. So we'll just kind of get it in the spots that they were. Just pull them around, get them to sort of as close to where they were as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect on that. 
um, on the girl. She's going to face the left, so click the left arrow, move button, and then get the apple in her hand. The apple does need to be shrunk down, so I clicked it twice um, when I pulled that down. And the pig, I'm going to shrink down a little bit too. So I'm going to go to my pig character. I'm going to shrink that down. Uh, it also is going to face to the left, so I have to do the same thing I did with the girl character and get that kind of in the position I want it. The pig's going to be going into the barn or make it look like it's going into the barn. So we've done this type of thing before where we're going to move left. So we have our green start flag. We're going to move left on that, and then we're going to use the hide button. And it just kind of makes it look like it was walking into the barn. Put the end script on your pig character. And now we're going to go to the horse. Also use the green flag there. And I'm going to make it wait a little bit. I'm making it wait kind of to let the pig do its thing and go into the barn. So I have 20 on my wait block. And now I'm going to make it go over. Let's test out 10, see how it goes. You can use the grid lines if you'd like. I'm going to make it wait a little bit when it gets to the end before it eats the apple. It's going to send that orange message. The orange message is going to go to the apple, and the apple opens the orange message. What happens? Well, the horse is going to eat the apple, so that's why the apple is going to disappear too. So we hit our green flag. The piggy walks into the barn. The horse goes over, waits, eats the apple, and there you have our program. Let's Put these on the screen a little bit. Try the big screen to test it out. Green start flag, horse comes over, eats the apple, and there you have our program. Hope you had a wonderful time. Scripting challenge 10 down on the farm. I really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share below. Have a wonderful day. Until next time.